again, let's continue our course with chapter 3, the small amplitude wave theory. Now, the small amplitude or the airy waves theory or the sinusoidal wave theory is actually a simplified wave theory. Now, before that, let's look at what are the outcomes of this chapter. Now, you will be able to analyze the wave subsurface motion, perform calculations to determine wave particle characteristics, and utilize the analyzed wave characteristics for design purposes. Now, first, let's look at some of the nonlinear wave theories. You know, in chapter 2, right, we have looked at you know how random right waves are in real life now these are some of the nonlinear waves theories to capture all the randomness or irregularities we have conoidal waves solitary waves stokes waves and also this is a simplified one the airy waves now, we, we are going to look at, you know, the characteristics of trochoidal wave theory, conoidal wave theory, the solitary wave theory. Now, this solitary wave theory is also this, uh, the theory uh, usually used to analyze Tsunami, Stokes wave theory, which is based on the wave perturbation theory, and also this is a simplified one, the airy wave theory, we are, which we are going to look further into it. Now, this chart here shows. Right, comparison of all these wave theories, the nonlinear and also the linear wave theory. Now, let's go further into the simplified or the sinusoidal or the wave, airy wave theory. We are going to look at the wave celerity, the particle velocity, acceleration, displacement and also the subsurface pressure, energy, and also power. Now, there are a lot of assumptions used all right, uh, to study airy wave theory. Some of it including that we assume the fluid to be homogeneous and incom um, incompressible. All right, the surface tension can be neglected. Pressure is uniform and also constant, and the fluid is ideal. Now, this is the uh, airy wave theory, which is the sinus in a, which is in sinusoidal form. All right, we are going to look at into details later. Now, this is the expression for the wave celerity. Then, we are going to solve for local fluid velocity, the x and y directions. We are going to look at how particles move all right, beneath the wave surface. Do you realize how it moves? So we are going to solve this uh, wave particle, wave, dis wave particle displacement velocity in terms in terms of uh, in space and also in time. Right. 
These are the expressions used to solve for the local fluid accelerations. We have in x and also y directions. Right, then we'll look at how we can actually obtain the particle displacements. Now, it's actually different for uh, wave particle in deep water and also uh, shallow and also we have the transitional water which we have already classified, uh, learned about the classification in chapter 2. Now, these are the expression for the horizontal and vertical displacement of water of wave particle. And we also can simplify those expression for deep water and shallow water conditions. Then, Let's look at how we can solve for the subsurface pressure. We will move on to solve for the wave energy and power. And of course, we have the expression simplified for deep water and shallow water. Now let's continue for the next section.